Could steroid injections be eating away your cells and destroying your joints and tendons? Research has shown that this quick fix to pain may actually negatively impact long-term outcomes, which should put into question how frequently this treatment is provided to patients. Whether or not to get a steroid injection is a very common topic when dealing with arthritis or tendon pain. And when patients ask me if they should get a steroid injection, the answer is a big, well, it depends. And I know this is not the answer that people are looking for, but there are a number of considerations when it comes to determining if a steroid injection is right for you. So in this video, we will investigate the use of steroids for the management of two of the most common orthopedic conditions, osteoarthritis and tendinopathies, and highlight possible benefits and risk factors for each. A recent analysis found that more than one third of newly diagnosed knee arthritis patients receive steroid injections. Considering the vast number of people dealing with arthritis, that's hundreds of thousands of injections being performed yearly. But what does the evidence say about the impact of this common treatment? Well, the evidence shows that steroid injections can give people significant relief. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody, but the evidence suggests that it's mostly a short-term solution. You might experience some relief for a few weeks to a couple of months after, which is great. However, when it comes to long-term benefits, like reducing pain or improving function, there's just not enough evidence to support it. Now, that's not to knock the short-term relief that people can have with this treatment. It can be quite helpful in taking the edge off so you can tackle rehabilitation more effectively. They're generally safe and carry low risk factors in the short term, which is definitely a good thing. However, studies have shown that steroids can be harmful to surrounding bone and cartilage. This raises concerns about what might happen to your joints over time. Recent studies are showing that patients who received steroid injections showed clear signs of progressive osteoarthritis two years later compared to those who did not receive injections. Imaging tests reveal notable joint and bone loss, as well as insufficiency fractures caused by poor bone quality. What's notable is that most of these events occurred in individuals with moderate to severe knee or hip arthritis, suggesting that the quality of the tissue plays a factor when considering risk with steroid injections. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, steroid injections can offer short-term pain relief and make it easier for you to engage in exercise. But on the other hand, there's a potential for risk of long-term effects on your joint health. We need to keep in mind that many of these recent studies on steroid injections are small, so we should take the findings with a grain of salt and remember that each person's situation is different. It would be great to see more high-quality research in the future to really understand the full picture. But what is interesting is that these independent studies, conducted separately from one another, all seem to be pointing in the same direction. And that's definitely something worth paying attention to, as steroid injections are so commonly used for short-term relief without giving much thought to the long-term impact. So it's crucial to weigh the potential short-term benefits against the possible long-term harms that this treatment may cause. And those with milder cases of arthritis, or those without any indication of advanced cartilage or bone damage, the injection may be just what you need to get over the hump. While in those with advanced cases, you may want to hold off due to the risk of speeding up joint damage. Now, if you want a long-term solution in effectively managing arthritis pain and improving function, evidence strongly suggests an active rehab approach involving exercise. It's all about staying active, keeping those joints mobile, and strengthening the muscles around the joints. But the thing is, I see many patients opting for these injections as a quick fix to alleviate the pain, but then completely skip out on the active management part. And what ends up happening is that they find themselves going back for injections every few months just to keep the pain at bay. Over time, the problem worsens, and it eventually leads to the need for joint replacement surgery. So despite clear short-term benefits of steroid injections, it's important to not rely solely on this treatment. Instead, think of it as a bridge to get over the barrier of pain to allow for a more active exercise approach, which has been proven to positively impact long-term outcomes. A common issue in our healthcare system is a lack of quality patient education. Doctors are so busy that it is tough for them to answer all of the patient's questions about treatments like injections. Our goal at PhysioShow is to increase access to answers to these common questions so people can make the most informed decisions about their body. So if you're enjoying this episode of PhysioShow, we would really appreciate it if you would like this video to help it spread to more people. Tendinopathy is a painful condition that affects tendons. These tough tissues transmit the contractile forces of our muscles to bones, which is how we move. And when they are not functioning properly, it can be a real pain and significantly impact function. Now, when it comes to treating tendinopathy, steroids have been the go-to option for a long time. But here's the thing. There's a bit of a controversy surrounding their usefulness for this condition. 
Steroid injections are often used to manage common tendinopathies like rotator cuff, patella, glute, and Achilles issues. And just like arthritis, there's evidence to suggest that these injections can provide some excellent pain relief in the short term. We're talking about improvements that people can actually feel within days to weeks after getting the injection, which can be pretty significant. But despite the high quality evidence that steroid injections are effective for short-term pain relief, there is no evidence that they provide any benefit in the long term. This is especially true for those with chronic or long-standing tendon pain. Studies have shown a high incidence of recurrence of symptoms after injection, as well as worse long-term outcomes when compared to those who do not receive this treatment. This is likely associated with the effect that steroid injections have on the health of the tendon. It turns out that these injections can actually have some pretty nasty effects on the cells within our tendons. They reduce cell viability, meaning the cells become less healthy and robust. Not only that, but they also hinder cell proliferation, which means the tendons have a harder time regenerating and repairing themselves. These injections also mess with the organization of the tendon, causing them to be jumbled up and disorganized, which severely impacts tendon strength. Weaker tendons means that there is more stress on the tissue when we move, and that extra stress can eventually lead to full-blown tears. While the risk of steroid injections is likely not a big deal in those with inflamed but otherwise healthy tendons, those with chronic tendinopathy with poor tissue quality might want to think twice before going for these injections, or risk further degenerating an already compromised tendon. But no matter what, an active exercise approach is the true fix for tendinopathies, because tendons need to be exceptionally strong to transmit forces from our muscles to our bones and move our bodies. And no matter what, if you get an injection or not, strengthening these tendons is essential in restoring their function. Otherwise, you'll likely find yourself no better a couple weeks later and find yourself back in the doctor's office for another shot. To recap, steroid injections can offer some much needed pain relief in the short term for arthritis and tendinopathies, but it's crucial to understand that they are not a cure-all solution and shouldn't be the only treatment you rely on. You need to take an active approach and engage in exercises that promote mobility and strengthen the effective joints or tendons. It's all about long-term outcomes. If your arthritis or tendinopathy is more severe, you should approach steroid injections with caution because they can actually worsen tissue health and exacerbate the issue potentially leading to the need for surgery. So it's all about finding the right balance and incorporating a comprehensive treatment plan that must include an active exercise approach to get you on the path to the long-term relief. Do you have more questions about the specific management of arthritis or tendinopathy? Well, check out these two videos where we provide a more in-depth evidence-based guideline on how these conditions are treated.